Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today we want to throw a look at the DJI Osmo and I want to show you guys how to simply update the firmware. It's quite simple. No worries. Don't be afraid. Only leave a thumb up and subscribe. That way you'll be good to go. Enjoy the video. Updating isn't a big deal, don't worry. You only need the following items. The Osmo itself, a fully charged battery, your mobile device, the Osmo's micro SD card, a card reader and a computer with internet access. To find out whether a new update is available or not, we first of all connect our mobile device to the Osmo as we normally would. We now tap at the settings icon in the bottom right corner. Next, we select the general settings. And finally, we tap at about. Now the current version of the firmware gets visible. Compare the number shown with the number of the latest official update. Simply open up your browser and enter dji.com. Scroll over where it says Osmo and then tap at Downloads right here. We now find three files. The first file is the latest update that you should compare with the number that was shown on your mobile device just before. If the numbers do not match, you should think of updating your Osmo. Many users are actually afraid of new updates and uh, they think there might be new bugs and sometimes there are new bugs and for the case that you are unhappy, DJI even offers an older firmware update and you could simply download that and reinstall that if you would be unhappy with the newest, with the latest firmware update. So only keep that in mind, it's a pretty cool option. Let's tap at zip right here to download the firmware file. Once your computer is done downloading, double tap the zip file and you will find the original firmware update file. It is always a .bin file. Now go ahead and remove the micro SD card from your Osmos camera. Insert it into a micro SD card reader. Make sure you're having at least 100 megabytes of space left. Right click the .bin file, tap at copy, then right click and paste the file into the root directory of your micro SD card, which is the first and the main folder. Copy the .bin file right next to the DCIM folder and you'll be good to go. Remove the micro SD card and insert it back into the Osmo. Now lay the Osmo on a flat surface, leave the gimbal locked and finally start the Osmo. The updating process starts and can take up to 20 minutes. Don't be afraid if your Osmo makes weird noises or if the fan stops or something like that. All of that is normal and part of the updating process. Once the left LED, the camera status indicator, turns into a solid green, the update is finished. If it turns into a solid red, turn the Osmo off and restart the process. After the update is finished, remove the micro SD card and insert it back into the computer. Double tap the text file to find out if the update was successful for sure. One last hint, leave the .bin file stored on the micro SD card when you put it back in place. For the case that the update contained battery changes, you will need to update each single battery by simply starting the Osmo with the current .bin file on the micro SD card and the new battery inserted. It only takes a few seconds or minutes until the new batteries are updated and, um, well, the rule is leave the .bin file on the microSD card and that was the rule. Pretty simple, right? Thanks for watching this episode of mine. Feel free to return the help so I can continue filming new tutorials to help you out instead. Check out tomstaketime.com slash donate. Thanks a lot at that point. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumb up and why not joining my Facebook group which is www.facebook.com slash group slash tomstaketime. This was Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. Stay tuned over and out.